I really think the set list on the Kronos is a cool idea, so I wanted to make editing outside of the Kronos really easy and quick. I'm going to show this on the Mac, as you can see this is just an application, but it runs on Windows and tablets too. So I really felt like set lists in particular needed a lot of flexibility in editing. So you could sit backstage or on a bus and get your sets ready and then load them into the Kronos and go. I'm going to open up a PCG file. And here we have pretty much what you'd expect, a panel on the left that has the 128 sets and a panel on the right that has all the slots. And of course, if you click on a set list, it changes the slots on the right. Now for quick changes, and particularly for tablet users, I've implemented drag and drop on both of these panels. Having to click on something, then copy, then click on something else, then paste, just seemed like it took too long. So um, all you have to do is drag something around in your set list and you've changed your set. And if you go to the slots, you can do the same thing, just drag them to the order you want. Another change that's possible is to option drag on any of these slots or set lists and you'll get a duplicate. So in this case, I made a duplicate of this set list. I can change the name, drag and drop the slots to a different order, and now I've got two different set lists, both with the same songs, but in different orders. Now all the columns can be resized or moved around. You can also sort on them, although I haven't really found a good reason to do that. Be clicked on and edited in line if you press the tab key, you will then jump to the next editable in that line and then down to the next line. So you can just zip through and make a lot of changes at once. If you click in a column and change something like the hold time here and then hit return, you jump down to that same column. So you can quickly change everything if you have a need to do that. The description column shows about 85 characters of the 512 available which kind of gives you a sense of what's going on. You can see a lot of things here, but for really long ones, it's not quite enough. So if you click on any row, the entire description comes up and gives you a count of how many characters you've used so far. And you can just type in this field and add more. And when you hit return, it will jump you back to where you were in the main slot list. So it gives a really easy way to update those to the full 512 characters, or you can do it in line if that seems easier. Double click on any row, and that'll pop up kind of a familiar window, although this one's movable, so if you wanted to compare what you're doing here to something else in the slot list, you can. You have a volume slider, you have controls, and when you close it, all that information goes back into your row as you would expect it to. Of course, at that point, you can save your file. One thing I wanted to point out, there's several great PCG editors out there. I had some problems with them. One, obviously, is none of them run on the Mac, which is my platform. But another issue I had is that they don't seem to write the information required for the operating system on the Kronos. So if you take a look at this set list, I created this with a different PCG editor. And when you look at it in disk mode, you'll see that once you get into the set list, you don't get the set list names and you also don't get the slot names. So I made sure that the PCG files do have that information. We can take a look here. Here you can see those same set list names that we've been seeing. And if I go inside, you'll see the slot names. I think that's really important because if you manipulate your set outside of the Kronos and you bring it back, you might just want to pull one set list instead of all of them back into the Kronos. And having the names there makes it really easy to know which one you need to grab. So that's the basic of the set list editor. There's a few other goodies in here, but I will save those for another time. Thanks for watching.